Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about the errors that are building up on the Ally X or Legion Go or some other devices. I've noticed it with the X1 Mini as well. Um, when you're connected through Thunderbolt 4 and an eGPU, and basically what's happening is the PCIe Express is having errors just pile up and eventually you'll get a little bit of stutter. And it's not happening all the time. I, I haven't really had that issue a lot with my device, but I've seen others have the issue on Discord and I've been working with Beardy to try to figure this out. And he did a lot of research on this. We've done a little bit of testing here and it seems to be fixing the issue by following these certain steps. So all the credit here really goes to Beardy McGee. You can go thank him on the One X Player official Discord. He's the one who's done all the research on this. I've just helped him test it a little bit here. And then I wanted to make a guide to just make things a little bit easier if you're trying to fix this issue. Now I mentioned the Windows hardware errors. This is the PCIe errors that are building up. And so you can look at this by downloading an application called WHinfo64. And I'll leave a link to that in the description. So you can go ahead and, and click that, download it, install it. And this is the sensor status that we're looking at right now. And you can just scroll right down to the very bottom. And that's where you're gonna see all those errors building up. So if you're seeing a lot of errors building up and your device is stuttering or lagging, that could be the problem right there. And so what we've done here with these four steps is we've eliminated these errors from happening and we'll go through that right now. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is right at the bottom search bar here, you're gonna type in control panel and that's gonna pull up the control panel here. Then you're gonna go and change it to large icons if it's set to category. And in large icons, you're gonna go into power options. And when we go into power options, you can see mine's on performance. And that's because I have the Ally X set to performance. And so because I'm using that specific performance plan uh, all the time with the eGPU, that 17 watts, I'm going to go ahead and change it. And I'm gonna go to advanced settings. And then under here, under PCIe Express, there's this link state power management. Open that up. And when it's plugged in, you wanna make sure that that's turned off. And then when it's on battery, I just turned that off too. We'll just make sure that those are both off. Now we're gonna scroll down and go to switchable dynamic graphics and then open global settings. And I've left mine to optimize on battery, but on plugged in, let's change that over to maximum. So here's the maximum. Then you're gonna apply and hit okay. The next thing we're gonna do is go into the registry editor. And what you're gonna do is type that into the bottom here. And then when this starts to pop up, you're gonna click on it and then go over here and run as administrator. That's really important that you do that step. All right, now where you need to go in here is right under local machine and then system. And then under here, under control, we're gonna go all the way down to graphics driver and you're just gonna click on the actual graphics driver. And there's two files that we're gonna create. One is called TDR delay and one's called TDR DDI delay. And so what we'll do is we'll right click new and then hit D word 32 value. And in here, you're gonna name it this first and then name it this second. So you're gonna do two of those same ones. And then once you get into them, sorry, I'm just gonna delete that just so that you don't see this. Once you get into them, you're gonna go to modify. And the first one we're going to set to decimal and for TDR DDI delay, you're gonna set it to 20 and hit okay. And for TDR delay, you're going to go to modify, set it to decimal, and you're gonna hit 10 and then hit okay. Now, once you've done this, it's gonna look exactly like this. You'll see a little 20 here, you'll see a little 10 here, and they should line up and read exactly like this in the graphics folder. And then again, it's computer, local machine, system, current control set, control, and then graphics driver. That's where you're gonna find this specific folder. All right, the last step that we're gonna take. So you're gonna type in command right at the bottom in the search bar and command prompt will pop up. You're gonna go run as administrator, hit yes. It's gonna pull up this little window. And then in here, you're gonna do the same thing that I have here in the screenshot is you're actually going to paste this BC DE DIT slash set current PCI Express force disable. So I'll leave this in the description, just like all the other steps. I'll leave those all in the description so that you have the right names for everything and the right steps for everything. But you're gonna paste that into there 
and then hit enter. And then it'll say operation completed successfully. So once you're done that, go ahead and restart your computer. All right, now that we've restarted the computer, if you wanna really test it, you can run a 3 Mark Time Spy benchmark, and that'll give you a good idea if there's any errors being triggered. And then again, we have the HW Info 64. I have this opened and this is the sensor status. You can turn that on in the menu or you can turn on sensor only status depending on how you've downloaded this application. But right at the very bottom again, you're gonna see Windows hardware errors and we can see that there's zero right now. And prior to doing all these steps, it was showing red errors there piling up the longer I have the system running. And again, it wasn't a big deal for my specific device. It wasn't really bogging me down, but it has been bogging down for others. So if you want to clear that up and try to get your device running smoothly, where you're not getting any lag or stuttering, try doing this and see if this helps you. Again, you can thank Beardy McGee at the One X Player Discord. He's the one who did all the research on this. And I'm just, again, the, the person that's showing you on the guide just so that it's a little bit easier to follow along what you need to do in order to fix this. So thanks everybody for watching. Take care and till the next one.